Now that we got a crawler, I think he wants down. Do you want down? All right. Now don't go too far now, because I'm going to keep my eye on you. Well, why? You acted like you wanted down, and then Daddy put you down, and you can't go fight to go cry. You're a crawler now. You're mobile. You can do whatever you want. Okay, come back up here. You want to talk about Daddy's tattoos with me? All right. all you fine lovely youtubers that reside in the land of the internet i hope everybody's absolutely doing wonderful and fantastic today are you guys staying happy staying positive staying in that mindset i sure hope so if not you, you just need a little extra reminder guys don't forget i don't mean to cover you up dutch but we gotta stay happy stay positive merch guys and this design here the original design that we've had for a couple years now is now gonna be going bye bye so get your hands on that merch today teespring.com backslash stores backslash rbg studios link right here or also link in the description it'll take you straight to the store check it out plenty of options search sweatshirts pillows towels lots of cool stuff guys so get your hands on it now while it lasts before it's gone because this right here gonna go bye bye today we're gonna be doing something a little different uh for today's flashback friday it's not really gonna be actually flashbacking to some video footage and stuff it's gonna be more story time it, it says right there behind me uh, so a video actually i've been wanting to do for quite some time now and just kind of go over a little story time about my tattoos before we get too farther into that guys i meant to bring this up the other day but i think it was on the 8th of november our little man he's a little stubborn he won't let you like really get a good look inside his mouth but he's got a tooth right there in the bottom he's got a tooth growing so our little man's got his first tooth started crawling lots of crazy milestones this month and uh just so excited to watch him just keep on growing one of the first things that i want to bring up is the simple fact that uh if you're gonna get a tattoo think about it make sure it's got a good meaning behind it and a good placement i mean those are my two main options when choosing a tattoo it's got to mean something to me and it's got to have a good placement for it don't just pick something because it looks cool and just slap it on your body because you, you're stuck with it forever so it's got to be something that you're really happy with there ain't well i only have four tattoos but there's not one that uh, i would take back i got this dragon dagger tattoo it's the green rangers weapon uh, it's got jason david frank's name on it i had him sign my arm and then i got a tattoo to met him love the tattoo posted it all over his instagram taking pictures and everything he loved it but uh that's one, one of my like probably cool nerdiest tattoos it was the first time i ever had somebody sign my arm and tattoo their name on my arm but that's what I got there. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool there. I like that tattoo. The tattoo I got uh, before that one was this here that you may have seen in the videos before. The Joker with the bats going around it. Now this one here actually, there was a tattoo place that was actually doing like a Halloween special and they only had certain tattoos to pick from, but you could only get one of those and they were like really cheap too. So uh, we were like the last customers and I actually asked if I could combine them because it was just the Joker's face and the bats and I asked if I could combine them. They said nobody's actually asked if they could do that and you're the last customer of the day so they gave me two for one. So I got that. That's really cool. I really love that one. Show off my nerd side and support my boy Heath Ledger. You know, rest in peace, my man. Brilliant talent, gone too soon. Now this one here on my chest, this one here says, live the life you love and love the life you live. This one here is very meaningful for me. It was, I got this kind of in a hard time in my life. Just kind of going through some ups and downs. And I got that so that way every time I look in the mirror, it reminds me to live life and love life to the fullest. And you know, basically just no regrets. You know, obviously I didn't want to get a no regrets tattoo, but you know what I mean? It's just basically live life, love life. Don't worry about anything else. And then the very first, last and final tattoo that I do have that you guys have probably seen all over is this one right here. Now this one here, don't be chewing on my hair. What are you doing, Dutch? That's gross. That's good. Don't chew on this hair. Anyway, this one here is my very first tattoo. This one here is a film reel and it's bundled up into a shape of a heart for my love and passion for filmmaking. This one here is very special and meaningful to me and it always reminds me no matter how tough life gets or anything uh, just with my ideas, my passion, um, my, my future work, anything that I, I want. It just reminds me of my goal in life and what to work really hard for as uh, wanting to become a filmmaker and an entertainer. Tell stories entertain people, make people laugh, smile, all that great stuff, which is also something I do with my vlogs, but you know, filmmaking, I wanna be a director, storytelling, feature films, all that stuff is like my main career goal in life. Uh, YouTube is just something fun to kind of help support that, and I still get to film and do cool stuff every day. Even though this man makes it a little bit harder now, but uh, I still love it, I still enjoy it. It's just, you know, multitasking, you know, working a couple full-time jobs, 
It's no biggie, you know what I mean? I, I keep it up though. I look down at it during dark times, rough times, if I haven't had any film work in a while, or I'm having writer's block anything, I look down, give myself a reminder of what I do, what I do, you know what I mean? But those are my only tattoos, I only have the four, uh, but it's something that, you know, down the road I would like to maybe get more. One thing that I do wanna do with this one over here is I wanna get on my shoulder, like the bat symbol, you know, like projected into the sky, cloudy sky or something. And then Batman is like kneeling down, and his cape comes over, and it comes over into this part of the arm and dissolves into the bats. I think that would look dope. I want to do another one down the road with him, something that, you know, I don't want just his name, but I want to do something special that uh, means something. Uh, you know, I'm wait, let him grow up a little bit. Maybe if he draws something cool, I know that drawing things, you know, like kids stuff is like, Drawings have been cool little tattoos that parents do. They get their like kids' drawings. So we'll see down the road, but I do want to do something special for Dutch. Let me know what you guys think. Like and comment below what you think. If you got a favorite one of my tats, or if you like the ideas that I have and all that stuff. But like I said, very important for those who have not got a tattoo or thinking of getting a tattoo and want one, just remember to just think about it. Find a good meaning behind it. Find a good placement. I used to swear up and down that I was never going to get a tattoo all the time because I hate needles. I still hate needles, but it's different whenever it's tattoos, because it's almost like therapy in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of it's kind of comforting. The first one is nerve-wracking, but like, once they got into it and stuff, it's fine. Oh, you poor guy. Well, that there pretty much sums up and covers my tattoos and all that stuff, the kind of the stories behind them. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today, because this little man is tired. He's getting getting angry, and I don't think he's angry. He's just getting frustrated. He's, He's tired, he wants to take a nap, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tattoo stories and all that great stuff. Thank you all so much for watching, like I said. Again, I really do truly appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. Please, you know, support this channel. Comment, like, share these videos, subscribe if you are not. I'm almost done, buddy. Just give me one more second. I'm gonna throw him one more link at him with the Teespring. Hit him with the Teespring one more time, guys. Check out the merch. Please do so. Support the channel, guys. It goes a long way. Whatever goes into this channel goes right back into it. And we're done. We're done. That's it. See you guys next time. You said the cranky turkey butt. I think you get that from your mom. Yeah, you do it your banks. Hmm? What'd you do with it? Hmm?